Hello Marky Dragon, also known as Marcus Eikenberry in real life, and welcome to my backyard. This morning it's uh, quite cool out. There's a lot of fog coming off the water. And I, in fact, you can't even see all the way across the lake. You can, however, if we look over here, you can kind of see some of the houses and stuff. Doesn't that look cool? It's just barely going along. Yeah, who knows, maybe it'll clear up while I'm doing this video. Probably not. It'd take a little bit more wind, I think. But, and it's cold out this morning. Although, you know, here in Florida, cold is different than other places. Although I do see frost on the roofs, so. Hmm. So, I got this um, very timely, uh, very timely message from uh, Doc1959. And I, let's see. Nope, wrong one. <laughs> I got this me other message from Michael, and uh, he says that his topic is uh, return policy on software and video games. Uh, the reason it really originally existed, which um, was to prevent people from buying and copying games and then returning. Uh, which, if that is correct, is the correct reason for the policy. This is invalidated by the new super mega DRMs uh, that companies are using. Personally, I think they keep the policy as a safety net against putting out a trash game and losing all of their sales to refunds. I think most people don't know that they can go to their bank or PayPal to dispute such sales as uh, SimCities and Aliens, Colonial Marines. Apparently he's had um, problems with those two games. You know, my own thing with SimCity is I still haven't gotten it to work. I mean, come on, look at how far after we're, uh, we're uh, I'm filming this nearly two weeks after the launch and um, you know, I still haven't gotten it to work. I mean, come on. Uh, and I've thought about uh, refund, you know, the here's the deal though so let's say you buy it at gamestop or or you know wherever what do you do i mean you've opened the box you get you bring it back you've opened the box and uh how are you going to get a refund on that uh they're going to tell you that they can't take it back because it's been opened and i can tell you that even our store has the same policy we're selling SimCity, and uh thank god we haven't had anybody that's that's had major issues with it in fact i think we have a warning on there saying that the game is currently not stable <laughs> uh but that you know how would we handle that because we deliver a code and so that registration code is then taken you know, by the, the person who purchases it and they attempt to register. Well, they get their account registered, but then they can't play the game. So they come back to us and ask for a refund. You know, we're gonna have to tell them no because we, we can't get a refund. And that's the conundrum. You know, how do you provide good customer service with something like that when the game publishers themselves are the ones that are, you know, making the policy on that. Because, you know, our, while our stuff, uh, you know, it doesn't come directly from EA. We, we don't buy in big enough volume. We'd have to buy about 10,000 copies at once to, you know, buy directly from EA. And, and we're just not that big. And so, you know, we go through a wholesaler. Well, what does the wholesaler do? Wholesaler says, it's already been used. We can't take it back. You know, and even on my, um, you know, we do have some games that we're direct with, and we have a better relationship with them, but, um, you know, boy, it makes just such a sticky spot right here. Um, I'm totally there that there needs to be some sort of refund policy, some way to get a refund on a game. Now... I did see that EA is, has said that they're going to give everyone who registers before March 18th a free copy of a game from Origin. And uh, everyone who bought SimCity. Okay, fine. So I'm going to get some value for the trouble for my time. Uh, and everyone else has had problems with the game. But, you know, it still doesn't address the fact that the game doesn't work at all for me. 
and uh, they even tried replacing my registration code. And so they invalidated my old registration code and gave me a new one. And uh, so now, you know, what, uh, what do I do? Even if I were to try and return it back to the wholesaler where I got it, um, you know, they'd be like, this isn't the same code. <sighs> Golly, what a conundrum. So the, here's the deal is that, I, you know, I think that like somebody like EA, they, um, they need to step up somehow to make the customers happy because ultimately we are the customer, we are their boss and they need to react to, to us and they need to treat us fairly. And, you know, so what would be fair in this instance? I don't think I'm getting my money back, you know, in the, in the, the game that we're selling, you know, 60 bucks. And uh, so, you know, and do I want $60 worth of credit in origin? No, not really. And I'll tell you why. It's because, uh, you know, when's the last time I bought a game in origin? Never. And it's because I just don't really use origin. And so would that have value to me? Not really. You know, maybe they need to give me like $100 credit in origin, something like that, so that it's a lot more, you know, worth my time to go out of the way to use a system I've not, you know, used before and everything. I mean, I did have to install origin to uh, register SimCity. And so, you know, that is, uh, <sighs> that's the way it is, you know. So I guess I am using it, but that doesn't mean that there's games there that I want to play. So anyway, yeah, thanks for bringing that up, Michael. Um, I don't know. I don't really have a good answer for that. I wish that there was a better answer. Uh, and, you know, I wish that like anybody who just came along to us that said that they wanted a refund because they weren't happy with the game, that we could just give it and we could just run it up the chain. But it doesn't work that way. So... Uh, even with us, which is unfortunate because I don't think that's fair. Um, and then if we do give refunds to everybody who wanted them, is that fair to us? Because we lose, we just lose the money, and it's it's um, and so we just we take a loss to keep a customer happy, and and sometimes that's appropriate, but um, it's not good business practice. It could run us out of business, you know, on a, especially on a popular game like SimCity. So. Thanks for the uh, suggestion here. I don't have a good answer for you. Uh, I will keep working on it though. And um, who knows, maybe I can get in touch with somebody at EA. And, uh, but they won't be willing to talk about this because I got egg on their face. <sighs> anyway, I'm Marky Dragon, take care. If you made it this far in the video, you may as well subscribe. That's what I want you to do. You obviously liked it well enough to watch it this far. So look at this. This is Frostmorn. This is a Runes Magic Sword. This Runes Magic Sword is one that we're giving away as second prize to one of you subscribers just for being subscribed. That's all you have to do. Subscribe and accept our messages or watch our videos where we draw for prizes. So this one is a it's a really nice sword it's uh signed by some of the american uh jam staff for runes of magic and then there's the big boy here i got it on my shoulder because it's so darn heavy you know the sucker is 16 pounds look at this so it's a two-handed sword here man this is a beautiful sword and we're giving this away when we hit 42,500 subscribers. It could be you. So, just subscribe, that's all you have to do. We'll do videos selecting the winners and we'll send you a message in YouTube as long as you accept it. Just make sure you accept messages from us. To do that, put us on your contact list and you just add Marky Dragon to your contact list and then you'll be able to get messages from us and you'll have 30 days to get back to us when we send you a message or if we can't message you, You'll just be on video, and you just gotta watch the video and then contact us. So anyway, if you made it this far, you really should subscribe, uh, and I would appreciate it. So.